Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our Accepting All Trade series, and we're going to be doing it with the Minnesota Wild. Definitely a pretty disappointing season for the Wild, not qualifying for the playoffs. They haven't really done much damage in the playoffs when they've been in the past couple of seasons, but they've been pretty consistently able to get into the playoffs, so definitely a step back for them this season. So this is how I've got their lines set up for this video. Kaprizov with Rossi and Zuccarello, Hartman with Erickson Eck and Boldy, Felino with Johansson and Goudreau, and Letary with Husnadine and Shaw on defense. It's Brodeen with Spurgeon. Faber with Middleton and Chisholm with Bogosian. The scratches are Goligoski, Lucini, and Merrill. And the goaltenders are Gustafson and Flurry. So if you've watched any of my accepting all trades videos in the past, you'll know that what I like to do is put guys with the most value on the team on the block to see if there's any crazy offers coming through. It hasn't really happened yet, but you never know when it could happen. So the five guys I got in the block are Brock Faber, Jonas Brodeen, Matt Boldy, Joel Eriksson Ek, and Kirill Kaprizov. Obviously, we're going into this video with the same roster that the Wild had, and they were not able to make the playoffs, but hopefully there'll be some offers here that will allow us to get into the playoffs here in 2024 with the Minnesota Wild. Our first offer has come in from the St. Louis Blues. We're going to be getting two second round picks in 2024. In exchange, we're going to be sending out a third, a fourth, and Ryan Hartman. So Hartman's a pretty key part to this team playing in the top six, sometimes even the top nine. So definitely a valuable player to lose up front for the Wild. Our second offer has came in. This time it's from the Dallas Stars. We're going to be getting a second and third round pick. And out the door, we're going to be sending Alex Goligoski and Marcus Johansson. So two more roster players that we lost that is definitely making this team worse right now. Our third offer has come in this time from the Boston Bruins. We're going to be getting a third and fourth round pick. In exchange, we're going to be sending out a seventh along with Dakota Mermis and Zach Bogosian. So a couple other D taken away from the back end. We might have to call someone up from Iowa. Got another offer coming in this time from the Nashville Predators. We're going to be getting a third round pick along with Michael McCarron. In exchange, we're sending out a fourth and fifth round pick. So a player to round up the fourth line after we lost a couple guys in recent trades. The Carolina Hurricanes are sending us a pretty big offer here. We're going to be getting Jesperi Kokkaniemi along with a second round pick. Out the door is going to be a fifth, a sixth, and Matt Zuccarello. So definitely not winning this trade whatsoever, but we do have another player that can play up the middle. The Nashville Predators are now sending us a trade offer. It's going to be a sixth round pick along with Kiefer Sherwood. Out the door, we're going to be sending our sixth round pick and John Merrill. So losing another defenseman, but definitely good to get a guy up front to round up that bottom six. So another offer has came in this time. It's from the New Jersey Devils. We're going to be getting a second rounder in 2025 in exchange for Marcus Felino. So Felino, pretty key part to this team for many years now and wish him the best in New Jersey. So we made a lot of trades throughout the season here. This is Minnesota's lines for the rest of the season after the trade deadline. Kaprizov with Eriksson Ek and Boldy. Goudreau with Rossi and Kakaniemi. Shaw with Husnadinov and Sherwood. And Letary with Lucini and Kyra on defense. It's Brodeen with Faber. Spurgeon with Middleton and Butcher with Chisholm. There are no healthy scratches and our goaltenders are still Gustafson and Flurry. The regular season is now complete. A very disappointing year for the Minnesota Wild, finishing in last place in the Central Division with 75 points and a record of 33-40-9. and nine. Taking a look at final player stats for Minnesota Wild players, Eric Sinek, 56 points, Rossi 49, Kokaniemi 41, Husnadinov 19, Kyra with 17, and Lucini with 14, left wingers Kaprizov finishes with 80, Boldy 57, Shaw with 22, on to right wingers Goudreau 41, Sherwood 24, Letary with 16, defensemen Faber had 36, Spurgeon 34, Middleton 25, Brodeen 23, Chisholm with 7, and Butcher with 5. In net, Gustafson goes 22 36 and 6. No shutouts, a 901 save percentage, and a 3.24 goals against average. While Marc Andre Fleury goes 11 4 and 3. Two shutouts, 934 save percentage, and a 2.23 goals against average. Taking a look at the playoff bracket, even though Minnesota did not qualify, Tampa Bay will win the Stanley Cup, defeating the New York Rangers in round one, Carolina in round two, Florida in round three, and then LA in the Stanley Cup finals. 
taking a look at team and league awards to wrap up this video. The Stanley Cup goes to the Tampa Bay Lightning. President's Trophy to the Florida Panthers. Clarence Campbell Bowl to the LA Kings and Prince of Wales. To the Tampa Bay Lightning individual awards. Nathan McKinnon will win the Art Ross along with the Hart. The Norris to Kale McCarr. The Lady Bing to Nikita Kucherov. The Calder goes to Matthew Nyes. The Conn Smythe to Nikita Kucherov. Vesna to Sergei Bobrovsky along with the William M. Jennings. Bill Masterton goes to Radko Gudis. Jack Adams goes to the Flyers coach. Selkie to Anze Kopitar. Ted Lindsay to Nathan McKinnon. And the Maurice Richard will go to Mika Zibanejad. Thank you very much for watching this video. Accepting all trades with the Minnesota Wild in NHL 24. Definitely a lot more trades than I'm used to happening in this video. There was a quite the roster turnover from Minnesota, I thought. Not any really big name guys minus Matt Zuccarello, but definitely some change to the lineup. And I could see how the Wild ended up finishing in last. Not the greatest roster heading into the last half of the season. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.